guys, so in today's video I'm going to talk about the worries that I have as a right hemi. So the first worry I have is when I have to shake someone's hand when I meet them for the first time. Um, and most people will ask, so what's wrong with your hands? Um, and I think that's more of a worry than if they just shook my hand and looked at me a bit strangely. Um, because once I tell them that I'm disabled and they say, oh I'm so sorry. Um, in my head it goes from them seeing me as a normal able-bodied person to then seeing me as someone who's different um, when in reality they probably just feel embarrassed and I mean I do struggle with that quite a lot um, when I have to meet new people and it does stop me from socialising sometimes which is really annoying. So when I'm on the bus and I have to sit on the left seat on the left side and the stop button is on the right seat next to me behind it and then someone decides to sit next to me I worry like hell that I won't be able to press that button to get off the bus um, because I'd have to move my whole body around to then press it with my left hand um, and so that would mean that I'd have to bump into that person while doing it um, and even if I tried to stand up and do it my balance isn't very good so I'd worry that I'd fall down trying to do it um, and I mean I could ask that person to press the button for me but because my disability is so invisible I do worry that they would just say, why can't you do it yourself? It's right there. Um, when I know that probably won't happen, but I do get into my head about it. In my previous video, I've talked about how I struggle to express myself and how I got stuck in conversations when I was younger. But now what happens to the 29 year old is that I start telling a story or describe my day to someone and then I miss out important information um, so that that person ends up not always understanding what or who I'm talking about. Um, and I mean, I don't mind so much with my family and friends, but when I do this with a new person, I just die of embarrassment and I think about it for a long time afterwards. So even though my epilepsy is totally under control and I know that I'm on the right dosage, I still get a little bit anxious about it. Um, if I don't sleep or I don't drink a lot before I have something big going on the next day and I know that I can't get out of it, I do worry that it's going to happen. So I feel like my body just takes over, my right side tenses up um, and I feel like I have absolutely no control, which really sucks. It only lasts a short time though compared to when I had anxiety when I was 19. Um, but still, when I'm going through it now, it's still as intense and was still completely convinced that I'm going to have a seizure. So this anxiety did disappear for a few years and I would say it's mainly because when I went into lockdown, being with my family at home constantly, I felt really safe um, and I didn't feel like I was in any type of danger. But when we came up the second lockdown, I did start worrying about it again. Um, if I was dehydrated on one day, um, but I'd be able to stop it by reminding myself that I've taken my tablets and so I would sort of forget about it after like 10 minutes but in the last couple of months um, it hasn't been that easy and it has definitely come back but I know I will find a way to cope with it which I have done in the past. So back in 2017 um, I went on a college trip to New York with my class um, and I was worrying beforehand that I might have a fit from being sleep deprived on the plane but mostly because I knew I would be sleeping in the same room as some of my classmates um, and the thought of them snoring really scared me because I knew I wouldn't be able to sleep all the way through the night because of that um, and so because I knew I couldn't prevent this from happening I would buy these massive bottles of water every day and I would drink that while we were visiting all these places and that just really reassured me that it would be much less likely that I would have a fit um, because I knew I was hydrated um, and because of that I had no anxiety and it was one of the best trips I've ever been on. So when I walk around in public I am very conscious that my right arm doesn't sway in the same way as my left arm um, and so I either put my hand in my pocket or I lift my arms up and I link my fingers together um, in front of me and I know that's so bad but I just really don't want people to stare at me if I don't do that. So similarly if someone takes a picture of me 
Um, I hold my right hand in my left hand so it's not obvious. And afterwards, I look at myself and think I shouldn't have done that because I look a bit awkward. But it has really become like a reflex and I just do it automatically. So when I'm at work, my right side does tend to tense up when I'm stressed. Um, and it does make it hard to carry on working sometimes. Um, but the same thing happens when an attractive guy comes through the shop and then I have to serve them. Um, and so, yeah, my right hand becomes really tight. And then I have to, if I have to walk around the shop, um, I start limping and it's like the one time, the one time that I want to look totally normal my body just doesn't allow me. So I have thought about getting Botox because of that reason, but um, I haven't had a really good experience of Botox. I had it when I was 17 and it didn't make any real difference. So I am quite skeptical about that. So I do worry at work that my colleagues don't believe that I have a disability because I can do certain things with my right hand. Um, and I think this is mainly because of the wrist operation I had 11 years ago. Um, as I can hold something quite loosely, like a pen or a phone, um, but I can't really grip them properly. Um, and I think what people don't notice is that I always use my left hand to put the object into my right hand. I'm not able to do that with my right hand independently. Um, and I think people looking from the outside just don't notice that. Um, and so I do worry that people just don't think I'm telling the truth but that doesn't stop me from telling my colleagues about my disability but I do feel quite insecure about it. Thank you so much for watching guys please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.